Okay, this is the Grave Grabber Octo Banger Prop Controller Test Sequence. Yep. Okay, so that, there it ran off. We've got to uh, get a closer look. We'll trigger it one more time and let you see uh, what's going on down here. The relay, we've got one relay on active right now, one LED on. Triggers. So it runs. There you go, I'm back to ambient noise. LED light comes on, zombie comes on, LEDs go through. That's just a test sequence. We'll turn it off and I'll walk you through it. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to try and explain to you my wiring and explain to you what all these components are. This is uh, the OctoBanger prop controller from buttonbanger.com. All these parts cost around $20 and you have a functioning prop controller. Um, the heart and soul, the uh, Arduino Uno, this is a AT Mega 328, I think. We've got a 5 volt 4 channel relay module. We've got um, solid state relay, and these can power uh, switch on and off a much higher voltage than the uh, smaller 5 volt relay can. We've got a serial MP3 player, and it has a micro SD card in it, which holds your soundtracks, and a PIR sensor passive infrared which will trigger the prop. So right now I have a test sequence on here just to test everything out. Uh, LEDs running off this 5 volt relay and the wiper motor and uh, this LED spotlight, this 20 watt LED spotlight which is running off of that. Right now they come on at the same time but they could be running separately. If I was running them at the same time I could just use one of these but my plan is to use LEDs to actually light up the prop and then turn off the lighting around the rest of the area and just so it will light up just the zombie. Um, so basically, you're going to download the software at buttonbanger.com for the Octobanger and it will tell you... All, he's got some pretty good uh, diagrams of everything on there. But basically, the Uno, the program you the program you'll download will tell this Uno board what all these slots, these pins, are supposed to do. Is my basic understanding. I have no, I I didn't have any knowledge of Uno, Arduino, any of that before I started this, and this all made it very easy. But my basic understanding is. Uh, these are set up, these pins here, 2 through 9 are set up to each handle one relay. So basically you've got 2, the relay 1, pin 3, relay 2, and so on and so on until you get to 8. And what those are is you just, it's sending a one wire to each spot. So basically on this board, on this module, you can see that. You've got a ground on the left, and then relay one, two, three, four, and then the voltage, five volts in to power it. So what this board is, it's a five volt relay, meaning it needs five volts to switch the relays on and off. I'm not using the power from the Uno. See, this is the power, I've got a 12 volt power, powering the Uno, which then has pins also on here, which are labeled ground, and five volts. The Uno puts out five volts from the five volt pins, which is then enough to switch this relays on and off, as well as these relays 
these relays can, these relays can switch off this but only need five volts to open and close them turn them on and off I've got a separate power supply going obviously to the AC because that's 120 volts and I've got 12 volts going to the Uno and I've got another 12 volt power supply going into this common terminal on relay one which is then piggybacked into the common terminal going on down so these all have power it's just up to the uno program whenever i programmed in there to open or close these which will then open you know complete the circuit to turn on or off these however you're programmed and that all happens when this is triggered so again we've got five volts going to everything here from the uno okay. That's a very good explanation to you. I, ho I, ho I hope that helps you. Basically the same thing up here on these. You've got five volts going in and then you've got these piggyback common or ground basically uh, going connected and then power going in, which then will open or close these relays depending on how you have them set up. And again, live power, boom, going in. If you know how to wire an outlet, you can do this. Now, if you don't know how to wire an outlet, you can do this. It's super easy. Try and get a good shot of everything for you. And you can get all this stuff for 20 bucks. If you're willing to wait. If you need it faster, you know, you're gonna pay more. But if you're willing to wait from China, Hong Kong, all these things cost a few bucks a piece. Probably the Uno was probably the most expensive. It may be four or five bucks. The rest, I mean, a couple bucks a piece, honestly. Super cool. Just got to get it all in a box now. Get it all contained. Get all these wires secured a little better. You know, bro. Get better at soldering. I soldered those on there. First attempt. Yeah. <laughs> There's a learning curve on that one, I think. But, um, yeah. Overall, it works. I hope you can make it work for you too. Enjoy. Okay, so this is everything in the box. This is a ammo box from uh, Harbor Freight. You've got uh, outlets on both ends, on separate relays, power cord in, got the uh, wire coming out that connects to the PIR sensor and uh, two 12 volt supplies going in for the Arduino and the uh, power to the four channel relay and this is what it looks like inside I think it looks pretty good pretty clean um, yeah everything clipped in there good Organize these boards can slide out if need to get access to anything. So that's it. Power in this side, uh, and then runs over to that one. Uh, as clean and compact as I could get it, and um, I'm I'm happy with it. So now I'll show you what it looks like inside the prop and this is what it looks like inside when everything's put in place so about a week and a half after I said it was done it's almost done I still might change the uh, zombie sound and uh, I'll, if I get around to building some more lighting I have a lantern I can add uh, to some of the other channels and turn on and off as the prop activates but that's it take a look